Hi friends, let's talk about this hat. I've made a rookie mistake. I was holding the Noro in my left hand, my non-dominant hand, and this one in my right hand, the Malabrigo. And what that does is the yarn in your non-dominant hand will pop to the forefront of the work. And that's what I thought I wanted, but no, I want this to pop to the forefront. I was thinking that this would be the contrast and this would be the, the sort of the main color, but really I want the trees to contrast. So guess what? I get to rip this back again and switch hands. Blue's going to go in my left hand. All right, so I think it looks like an amazing sunset, but the trees are not popping. We want those trees to pop. This is a skincare product I wanted to share. I really enjoy this. Wellida, Wellida, not sure how you say it. It's a German brand. Super rich um, skin cream. And I have been applying this around my eyes and my temples, sort of really the delicate skin on the face. Um, I have to really warm it up in my hands before um, so it spreads well, but I really enjoy this stuff in the winter, and I think a lot of people use it on their hands. Let's see, what do they say? Rough areas, yep. Sort of midwinter, I get a rough patch on sort of the highest point of my cheeks for some reason. I guess it's windburn from hikes and walks. So yeah, if you are the same, you might want to check this out. This is a little tube. It's not super pricey, but it's not cheap, so kind of stick with the little tubes. The other day I tried making my own Irish cream. It is insanely delicious and just requires a few ingredients. Condensed milk. I had everything on hand. It was amazing. Cocoa, condensed milk, vanilla, whiskey, and cream. Oh my gosh, couldn't be simpler. You can drink it right away. And, um, it lasts for a week or two in the fridge. I highly recommend it. I use the Smitten Kitchen recipe, so you can easily Google it. Absolutely recommend. Cheers. Sweater of the day is my cardigan from Hilda. I think I called her Hannah on a previous video. That was wrong of me. Um, this is from Hilda. And the sweater itself is a bit of a fail in that I made some mistakes in the knitting. It was loosely based on the Mondo Cable Cardi by Bon Marie Burns, and I increased way too much on the raglan. I think my mind was just not in the right place to, I don't know. I feel like, when did I work on this? Spring, summer? It was a rough time. So it's got lots of modifications. I kind of made it my own, but with the raglan, extra raglan increases, not only did I get too much room here, I got this weird bubbly stuff happening here, right? Too much sleeve, not enough front. So it's, it's a little bit odd, but it's not the fault of the yarn, which is the coziest, velvetiest Corydale from Serenity Farm in Michigan. Also the collars, like, it should stand up better like this. And I did put a little button like this doesn't, it's just got issues and it's not the yarn's fault, but I guess 
what I will say about it is that it's for an inside the house, which is, makes it the perfect sweater for 2020. Um, I put one button on it and it's a very, very vintage button from my childhood, says Winnie the Pooh. Um, I did an I-cord binding around this collar, which is why it doesn't have a nice corner anymore. I staked it, so there's really no going back. There's no pulling this out and re-knitting it. So it's a process of acceptance. And the steak did get a very nice Katie Green Beam sheepy ribbon. I know I've showed this in bits and pieces before. Oh, Hilda has the best, softest, most velvety, gorgeous gray color. And the sleeves, I went off piece as well with the sleeves. I did these bell things with cables, which are wonderful for when I'm just kind of knitting and want my hands covered or I'm reading a book and I need to keep my hands warm. And then when I need to do something more industrious, I fold them back. Very pretty. So yeah, I guess this collar is really best pulled over like that, but even, even then it's a little strange. I guess the weirdest part is this bobbliness in the front cable. At any rate, I have some of this yarn left over. Oh, I also did a folded hem. I have a little bit of yarn left over for a hat.